Tunable government begs U.S. congressional delegation to intervene over House of Reps move to name Nigeria religious intolerant. The U.S. House of Reps had reportedly advanced resolution to license advanced resolution to increase sanctions on Nigeria over the persecution of Christians in the country. The Nigerian government has pleaded with the United States of America to shield the resolution by its House of Representatives seeking to designate Nigeria as a country of concern over allegations of religious intolerance. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ambassador Yusuf Toga, made the appeal on Wednesday when President Bola Tudumbo received a delegation from the United States Congress, led by Senator Cory Booker at the State House in Abuja. The House, the U.S. House of Representatives, had reportedly advanced resolution to increase sections, sanctions on Nigeria over the persecution of Christians in the country. This is as Nigeria has never has been recognized for years by religious right group as one of the most dangerous countries in the world to be a Christian. The House Foreign Affairs Committee advanced the resolution to increase sanctions and pressure on the Nigerian government over the rampant persecution of Christians and other minorities in the country. Sponsored by the U.S. Rep. Chris Smith, RNJ, the resolution would call on Joe Biden administration to designate Nigeria a country of particular concern. CPC, a designation that comes with additional sanctions. During the U.S. Congressional Delegation meeting with President Tunumbu, Toga drew the attention of the delegation to the resolution of the U.S. House. In a statement issued by the Special Advisor to the President on Media and Publicity, a jury in Galali, Toga urged the U.S. delegation to appeal to them, the House, saying Nigeria has a constitution that pays critical attention to the right of all citizens. He said, there is no government that will support anything inimical to the provisions of the Constitution. Responding, U.S. Congressman Sarah Jacobs said the broad consensus in the U.S. House of Representatives and in the White House is to not place Nigeria on the list of countries of concern. Okay. You see, this is not the first time I'm hearing this kind of news. I think about two years ago, three years ago, we heard that... Um, that was how one certain secretary came like that. On on top of this issue, the, the secretary came. I don't know if it was the secretary to the U.S. government or the U.K. I'm trying so hard to remember. But they came in this particular aspect. They wanted to name Nigeria as one of the, that time. But we heard that the person came, you know. Before we hear, we just heard uh, the person came out and was praising the then president. Oh, what he's doing and all that. And before you know, they swept the issue under the carpet. Now they don't open the issue again. But well, what, what do you Nigerians think? Do you think that, you know, Nigeria is just as they want to prescribe it to be? Because I know there are many, many things that happen that doesn't make it to the news. You know, I tell us, for every one news that gets to the media, there are tens of thousands of news that doesn't make its way to the media. So what do you think? Nigerian, as in... A water might be no water. Nigeria merit might be the no merit Muslims in Nigeria are good in bloodletting. They want to slay every Christian in the northern parts of the country, and yet Northern has supported this evil ticket, knowing very well they were singing the death warrant of their fathers and mothers who are not Muslims. National disgrace. What okay, national disgrace. Okay, back a national disgrace to help with them and this is what Nigerian Christians are causing the country. What do you mean Nigerian Christians? Is it Nigerian Christian that is going to they know they see or hear what thing they happen? The issue of Deborah Samuel, how she was, you know, how she was murdered in uh, what's it called, include bought by a mob of Muslims. Should I go on? I don't even there's some stories I don't even want to visit. That visiting them is going to cost me a lot of is to go back to reopen wounds. I beg. We have all heard when whenever it comes to uh, what's it called, um, mm. Christian and Muslim, we all know that the violent religion here is what's it called? Is uh, the Muslim or should I say is Islamic religion? And yet they keep claiming religion of peace. And I don't like this particular topic. I I don't like talking about it because it brings a lot of very bitter memories.
It brings a lot of very bitter memories. Thanks to the U.S. Congress for trying to prevent persecution of Christians in Nigeria. Let them also search in Saudi Arabia for not allowing churches to be established in that country. Every country in the world can have mosques, so every country in the world should allow churches to. Then they talk the one within your country, they talk Saudi Arabia. Are you sure you are fine? Then they talk the one within your country will concern you, your family member, you know, that something happened now, it will affect you. You are talking about. Ah, ah. Ha! Now, wow! That is true for southern Nigeria state, especially the Igbo discriminate against Muslim population. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh my God. Have you ever heard, eh? Have you heard that, oh, a group or mob of Christians, they attack the Muslim and, you know, they buy the person. Have you ever heard it? Then they talk AU, they talk Z. You know, if they talk Z, if they talk, then they do alphabet, they go num numerical figure. Now, what? Wow. Hope the U.S. will also name the satanic state of Israel as well. Ah, sometimes eh, I they wonder why they join me and some people for this country. They're not supposed to join everybody together. Christians persecution, Christian persecution, as you guys call it, and some of you are shouting it is true. But to my surprise, none of you could be able to give a statistics or analysis of how many Christians are persecuted in this country compared to how many Muslims are persecuted daily in numbers. Because what you're saying is just pure lies. Hypothesis and conspiracy theory. Muslims are the ones that suffer the most persecution daily. Let us start the calculation and mentioning names and location. Like I said, for everyone news that makes it to the media, there are ten thousands of such news. You see, this actually uh, um, what's it called? Uh, Muslims, you know, buying Christians. You will never. There are some places you will never see the news. You never know, see them, but there are some platforms, rare platforms that when you go there. You will see such news as, oh, this kind of thing happened because they ask for inside this country, then this one happened, and it doesn't make it to the normal media. So that is what I'm saying for every one news that is actually read. There are thousands that have been swept, purposely swept under the carpet so that it doesn't see or get to the people. Okay. Okay. Surely the Christians, particularly Northern Christians, are largely persecuted in Nigeria. For example, when a known Muslim cleric labeled the president's wife as an infidel, in some, if reverse was the case, the Christian cleric would have been long arrested and maltreated. Yes, with all those things that they do say, na because na them them. But that one is not my concern because Papa and uh, what's it called now? Uh, Ogana, na president's wife. So they don't go feel do anything, not talk, they go feel talk. But if the ordinary person, where they live, as in maybe she now come by any chance, they live for nothing in Nigeria. Oh, till law. They might as well just say she's blaspheming and do something to her. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news to say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.